Hi guys, I am back with an old video. It's just been recorded a long time ago, but I never got to share it. So because we just got back from our mini vacation from our country where we was working a lot to set up a mini home for us where we can stay when we go back to visit our family. So we are really tired and I thought because I already did fall back with two weeks video, I will just throw this one in until we get a bit of rest and catch up with our life in UK. I just need to let you go. In this video I will be all over in the house and trying to organize or fix as much things and spaces as I can. If you are new here you don't know but the moving took us one month because the house was in a waiver shape when we got the keys after six months that we saw it. So we had to move in as we were renovating. In the previous video maybe I did say that I couldn't clean the toilet because we forgot the toilet brush in our old home but actually I just realized watching it back after I did edit it that the toilet brush was in here and I did move it and I still didn't realize it but anyway now it's unpacked and ready to get the cleaning done. I think I never was so happy for a clean toilet like that time but now the bathroom is fully clean and I can move on to the hallway and pack away the tools and rubbish from the renovation and get the hallway cleaned. As you will see it, a lot has changed since we moved in but I love to look back and see from where we started and where we are now. I know they say you shouldn't look back in your past but for me there are occasions when I like to compare things or myself to see if there is any progression or I need to work harder on something to change it so a bit of reflection can't hurt. Also because of the stress of moving and all other stuff what was going on that time blanked out so many moments. Even my husband sometimes when he watches my old videos is asking me oh is that really was like that? So it's a nice way to refresh our memory. And the promises you made and the fact that we broke up So I'm standing there with what's his name and the memories Everything was fully packed and upside down so it was hard to not to spare something and this time the cat food was the lucky one but so far I love how clean is looking our whole way already. Come back to me. So because the office table still isn't here I will use this little shelf to pop our PC on so it will be a bit more protected against the accidental bumpings. Say what you wanna say to me just want you to leave. As you can see we still don't have the nice stands and the bed in here so I just try to get the best out of the situation and still be as organized as I can so at least some things are serving us and we don't have to search for everything and it also helps me to feel a bit of control over the chaos. So I can get you off my mind. My husband did pop back to our previous home after work to get more stuff but he was really just quickly grabbing any boxes what he can find because in this box wasn't much to unpack. We just weren't meant to be I'm glad you set me free and now I'm leaving you behind Cause I'll be okay Cause I'll be great 
The next thing what I really wanted to get done is to set up a kind of dining area, but we only had the table and chair from our balcony, but it was still better than sitting on the stairs to eat. So after I clear and clean this little section, I will just set up our outdoor sitting. It's not the best looking diner, but it serves the purpose and that's all what matters. This is the next day and we got more kitchen stuff, so today I will be unpacking and organizing in the kitchen. First I started with the things what I had on the countertop just to clear it a bit so I can have a bit more organized space and I can start somewhere the journey of finding a space for everything. Now that most of the house been cleaned, it's time to unpack the cleaners. At the moment this cabinet doesn't have a door because it was broken and we haven't got the time to fix it yet. But that doesn't disturb me in my organizing and by unpacking the cleaning caddies there is less obstacle on the floor. But I messed it up and there you go. More worktop clearing, which means more space, our breakfast box did arrive, so I will just unpack that. Then I will set up our coffee machine because it's a very needed thing. When I am deciding what and where to keep, I am trying to follow my system, which is keeping those things what I need for food prepping and cooking close to the cooker, then going further away, categorizing by the necessity of the things. As example, the seasonings are needed at the food prep and at the cooking as well, so those went as close to the cooker as possible. The only thing I needed a bigger cabinet, because I like to keep my seasonings together with other ingredients like flour, breadcrumbs, sesame seeds, etc. Etc. But for cooking, I don't need the cereals and teas, so this is why they went far away from the cooker because those we use it for breakfast and they don't need cooking.
I love is going cold You leaving out the door And say I don't know when I'll be home Like needles in my heart It's tearing me apart Just trying to find a light in the dark I know that you're afraid Believe me when I say it's alright We'll get by Our colors fade away I hope it's just a phase I tell myself that we'll be okay to protect the cabinets I use this anti-slip liner and this not just protects your cabinets from scratching but also makes it easier to clean it because you can take them out anytime and wash them at the sink. Also you don't have to worry that if you put your dishes away wet then the water would damage your cabinet so I do recommend investing in the shelf liners. I am sure you won't regret it. Now I also bought it for the cabinets in our caravan back home. This cabinet was just perfect for the dishes because it was big enough for my dishes and it's close enough to the prepping and cooking area. So hold on to me baby, hold on Got our souls intertwined, I'm not letting go Now the drawers were really easy to work with because I already did one through our ball home, I mean our old home just before we bought this house. So everything was already organized, I just needed to place them in the drawer as they were before. One more thing what I really helped as well was that the size of the drawers were the same in both houses, so I didn't need to do any adjusting. The only thing what I would change if I would have drawers next to the cooker, then I would use those for the utensils because they are more handy there when you are cooking, but in the end with the kitchen transformation this problem did resolve, but I just wanted to mention it because I think that's quite an important thing to consider when you design your kitchen or when you are trying to organize your kitchen in a way that makes your food prep and cooking easier and by having the right tools at the right place it also speeds up a little bit your cooking process. To be a way, a way out of this place Just gotta follow our tracks Remember what you said because I only had two drawers in our old home what I was able to get use of it, I did recreate those first and later on you will see me that I did move my baking stuffs in a lower drawer and use this one for my cooking utensils what in my previous house I kept in a utensil jar. Way back when we met, it went something like this You take my breath away, it's crazy how you making me feel the way you're smiling at me only adding the liner in here as well because first I wanted to see if I can organize this cabinet or not and I'm a bit low on the liner at the moment because some of the rolls been left in our old home. Hold on, hold on, we just gotta hold on 
I really got stuck with the corner unit because I never had one so I didn't really knew how to get the best out of it so for now I just stuck my pastas on each other and filled the gaps with the leftover but maybe I am wrong but as a first side the corner unit seems really a waste of space because they are huge at the back and small at the front so whatever you put at the back you will forget about it because you won't see it And then the next two small cabinets was driving me crazy because they were too small for anything. In the end I decided to use it to store my daughter's food in there. We only got one porridge at the moment because we just started the weaning process. And here will be our plates and cups once they arrive and I wash those few what we have already in here. Then finally Alexa got the space too together with the greeting card from our new neighbors. So give me something to do Yeah, I can't stay here because I need One thing what I really missed was our pantry cupboard So because only this cabinet was free I had to use it as a temporary pantry But my mind was working on the plan to incorporate a pantry in this kitchen To dance, jump, jump around and show them how I move Uh oh, oh, oh uh. Everybody will be on me, wanna join me when I take a shot As I said earlier, I did some changes and I love that now I can lay my cooking utensils and I don't have to seek for them in a jar. The only thing what I need to do later on is to add some drawer dividers to stop them from mixing up. Now that all the things what I had is unpacked and organized I will get some cleaning done but I don't know what happened maybe I didn't have the time to finish the cleaning or I lost the footages but all of a sudden the kitchen cleaning ended. This is the next day after the kitchen organizing and I think this was a Saturday and my husband was off and he and my son went back to bring over more stuffs because on this day we had furniture to put together finally so we can get rid of more boxes and we can have more floor space. I am so glad that we got to finally bring over furniture to give us storage space and this was the first time when we didn't need to rush and quickly grab what is the most important since the kitchen and the bathroom is quite set up so the most necessary things are on the place so now we could focus on setting up a space for the kids to play safely with no box mountains around.
Cause I'm just an accident way to do we couldn't repaint his closet yet, so his clothes has to stay in the corner for now, but they are still more easily reachable than before. We did bring his bed over but we decided to not to waste the time with fixing it because he was keep asking for a bunk bed so he and his sister can sleep in it. So we decided to surprise him later on with the reversible bed from IKEA. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue, come away. My, my room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favorite TV shows to capture in. It's crazy that you only had two pieces of furniture and look how clearer the floor is already and it's also much cozier now. Now we are getting the last pieces done, it's not 100% for sure, but at least now it has a bedroom feeling and there is enough space for them to play. So this is it for today, as for now I don't know what will be the next video, maybe some more old organizing video, maybe some new organizing, I will see which will go quicker at the editing side, but anyway, if you like this cleaning, organizing, unpacking video, then give it a thumbs up, and to don't miss out the next one, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in my next one. Bye guys! Fall in love, my past relationship.